What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and welcome to Regulation G. I am finally able to play on the ranked ladder, and I'm so excited. To get started off, I'm playing a Groudon team. But this isn't just a Groudon team. This is actually more of a Scoville'n team. This was cooked up by Evan, and when Evan cooks, I eat. Uh, he cooked up with some hot peppers with spicy extract. Now, spicy extract is Scoville'n's signature move. What it does is the target gets minus two defense and plus two attack. Really strange. But we take advantage of chlorophyll to move first, send that spicy extract over to Groudon, have clear amulet, which Groudon wants to run anyway due to Incineroar being everywhere. The clear amulet blocks the defense drop. So this Scoville'n just gives Groudon basically a free swords dance whenever it can click spicy extract into it. And you could also target the opponent with Spicy Extract, if for some reason that's not possible. Uh, and that'll give them a defense drop, but just be careful of who you do that into, because they'll get an attack boost. Now, because it's a Groudon team, we've got Sun Partners. Walking Wake, you know, has powerful Hydro Steams in the Sun, with Life Orb and Protosynthesis. Fluttermane, now the Sash set is coming back. Because Calyrex is faster than Fluttermane, you kind of need to struggle to position against it. So Focus Ash is a perfectly fine way to do that, and Focus Ash Fluttermane is back. So this is just 252, 252. Uh, it gets a speed boost in the sun. We also have Tornadus. It's our speed control. It's our secondary sun setter in case we fight like a Kyogre or something that wants to set rain. Pelipper is picking up, apparently. And then we have Hitmontop. Hitmontop is a really cool mod because of all the tools it gets. It gets, well this one for example has close combat, wide guard, fake out, and faint. Now, I've been messing around a little bit with Hitmontop on other teams and looking at it. I don't know if it has what it takes in this meta, but I'm excited to try it out because Hitmontop is a great Pokemon design-wise. <laughs> I love it. I love Hitmonlee, I love Hitmontop. There's a third one. Uh, but anyway, I'm super excited to play this. This is going to be on ranked battles, finally, so there's not going to be any Regulation F teams. We're going to fight real Regulation G teams. Let's go. Okay, Ryan, it took me forever to find someone to pair with. Uh, and it's Kali Ice Amoongus. Oh, uh, they have Sinistra, which is so cool. They also have Incineroar Primarina for the Firewater Grass Core filling out. And Blood Moon Ursaluna. <clears throat> So what do I want to do about that? I want to use Scoville'n. And we are Terra Fire on this thing, so we can... Let's go with Shiny. Alright. I'll do Groudon Scoville'n. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I think we can do some big damage as long as we connect the things. Gotta have Hitmon on top, just to wide guard stuff. And then, after that... Could be a Sash Fluttermane. Could be just walking wake. Um, what do we have for spore? Not anything. We're gonna get spored. Uh, Tornadus doesn't have taunt. Well, Fluttermane has Shadow Ball and Icy Wind and Moon Blast. Okay. I do think it's the Sash Fluttermane. I think that's the way to go. It, it's <laughs> we can handle Trick Room. I think they're gonna get Trick Room up. If, if they really want it, they can get Trick Room up. I guess it depends on the Terra on their horse, which they will have to burn. I don't see a lead where they can comfortably just click Trick Room. They're always going to have to burn Terra. Oh, Shiny Charizard! Okay, cool card. Respect. Uh, this feels like it's not the worst matchup, but like... Oh. Okay. Ensign and Sinistra. Cool with me. Uh, I could make you burn Terra on Sinistra then. Because... Overheat should take Sinistra, right? And you don't know I'm Covert Cloak. I think I'll also just throw a precipice blades. Yeah, I think that'll work. 
Because if they burn Terra on Sinistra, they're in a worse position with their Calyrex later. Yeah, as much as I want to just spicy extract the Groudon, I think this is the play. Yeah, they're burning Terra. Okay. That's fine. Um, it's usually dragon or water or fire. It's fire! Okay, well then that means you're faking out Groudon. Which would give me a double stomping tantrum next turn. Cool. I'm fine with that. And yeah, I overheat and you take that really well. Fine. That's fine. Groudon flinches and you get your trick room up. Alrighty. Hope you had fun doing that, cause uh, you're in trouble now. How do you even get out of this position? I think I could go out to Hitmontop for some wide guard support. Um, I want to Terra Groudon. I need to Terra Groudon in this game either way. I don't know if I want the doubled stomping. I'd rather get two KOs. But I can't KO the Incineroar anyway. Do I care? Yeah, I'll throw the double stomping that way and go to hit him on top. That is what I'll do. Because I think they're going to try to probably... If they have Will-O-Wisp, they're burning ground on this turn. If their Incineroar has Will-O-Wisp, that's what they're doing. Otherwise, I think they would knock off. They might parting shot into the uh, hit him on top slot here, though. And the Sinistra could... I could see it rage... I could see it being a rage powder and then parting shot out the Ensign just to get Calyrex in. I could see that being the case. I kind of wish Groudon was bigger. Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. Like, Groudon's cool. But, like... I feel like it should be bigger. It should be larger than life. Like, Dialga and stuff are big. Uh, it's just Primarina. Okay, that's not gonna appreciate a double stomping tantrum. Just the Machu Gacha. Okay. Well, that could have burned if I didn't tear it, so that's good that I tear it there. You can have a little bit of health back. I don't really mind that. How much do I do to Prim? Show me a lot. That's a lot. Okay. Uh, they didn't have anything to block Fake Out, so I could just take Primarina if I wanted. I have Sun. I have Wide Guard. I kind of don't want to accelerate the game too quickly. I think I'll just protect Groudon get some damage onto Sinistra. Yeah, Primarina just protected anyway. Cool. I'm happy with Stalin. Because I know you have a horse, and I want the horse to come out after Trick Room's done. Or at least when Trick Room's almost done. Oh, and Hitmontop dodges. Good, good moves, Hitmontop. And that, wow. I knew we were minus one, I guess, but that did nothing. Confirm your item? Not Rocky Helmet. Okay. Yeah, Stomping Tantrum into Sinistra, and I think Faint should be able to pick up Primarina. Yeah, got it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh, Strength Sap. All right, we're not going to pick it up now. And even though Groudon has clear amulet, you still would get the healing. So if it were to do that into Groudon, I wouldn't take an... Ooh, good damage. I would not take an attack drop, but they would heal back to full every time. And there's their Calyrex. With its two abilities, for some reason. Ridiculous. Last turn of Trick Room. I'm happy to protect. And 
what do I want to do here? I want to bring in Fluttermane here. That's what I want to do. Sinistra swap. Oh, I see what they're going to do. Okay. They're going to go for a fake out turn so that they can get Trick Room back up with Calyrex. Fine. Go for it. Fluttermane's going to do some big damage into your Calyrex. This is a good game. Lots of swapping, lots of positioning. Not a whole lot of KOing. And we get speed, right? Yeah, okay. We're just max, max, sash. Yep, Groudon just protects. You probably high horsepower. Oh, you have Zen Headbutt. That's un that's unusual. But okay. I, I assumed it would be a high horsepower in a Groudon or something. Do I want Sun back? Do I care? I guess the heat crash damage, but... Yeah, you're gonna fake out Groudon anyway. I think I just want to go into Hitmontop and throw a Shadow Ball at Calyrex. You're not gonna appreciate that. It won't KO, because Calyrex is a beast. Uh, but we'll get to see that you're in fact Clear Amulet. We'll get to intimidate the Incineroar. We'll get a fake out next turn. Yeah, you're Clear Amulet. That's the standard. Fake out. Okay. Shadow Ball. Also okay. And then a high horsepower this time. Okay. Well, that's weird. <laughs> Alright, I'll fake out your Ensign and I'll Shadow Ball your Calyrex. I, you don't have Trick Room on Calyrex, I guess. With Zen Headbutt and high horsepower, you obviously would have Glacial Lance. Okay. I guess you just don't have Trick Room. Fine by me. I think we can clean this up now. As long as I don't make any mistakes. I guess Protect Calyrex and Incineroar was Cloak the whole time. Could be annoying. Oh, but no, we're gonna take your Sinistra. Oh, we get our Barry now that you swapped out. Thank you! <laughs> yeah, and you'll... I guess you have Hospitality for your Incin. Did Incin even take damage yet? No. Shadow Ball, and let's see if your Covert Cloak Incineroar. With the pickup of Ghost Terra Incineroar, I don't think Covert Cloak is very common. But, best of one, you never know. Nope, they flinched. Okay. Then now I'm just gonna faint Shadow Ball just to guarantee that we get the Calyrex. And it'll be game over. They already Terra'd. We know they have Clear Amulet. We don't know if they have Protect. They might. But we're just going to make sure that it doesn't matter. Okay, no Protect. They probably didn't have Protect. And Calyrex is down. Goodbye, horse. You can take either slot now. Whatever you want. I don't care. Hit on top. No, but you can't have him. <laughs> He's too tough. <laughs> Alright, and we'll just hit you with that, and we'll hit you with that, that, and you're gonna cancel, and good game. Alright! First match in Regulation G, and it's a dub. Alright. Alright, now we've got a matchup into Terrapagos. Alright, they've got Urshifu, Rillaboom, Incin, Amoongus, and Tornadus. Pretty standard, lots of fake outs. Covert Cloak could be nice. How do I want to deal with that? Uh, I mean, if I get Groudon set up, Terrapagos is in trouble. I think that's the play. Set up Groudon as fast as I can. They don't have Wide Guard. Um, they have Rillaboom, which could threaten Groudon to force it to Terra. Hitmontop will be good at slowing that down a bit. And Hitmontop just having Wide Guard is amazing against Terrapagos. And then, who am I most afraid of? Not Incin, probably Amoongus. But again, I don't really have much for Amoongus. 
Um, I guess Flutter... Walking Wake has Snarl. That's pretty interesting here. That's pretty interesting. Fluttermane Sash is cool. Matching Tailwind could be good. Oh, I don't know. All of, all of these last ones seem right. The first three are correct. I'm, I feel they're correct. The next three, any of them, could be good here. And I'm gonna go with Walking Wake. I want something that can take a hit from Urshifu. If they have like Rain Dance and Water Urshifu. Walking Wake is like the only thing that could take a hit from that. And they've got a trainer card. That'll do. Is that Gengar shiny? You can never really tell. Gengar has the worst shiny. Tornadus Terrapagos. Cool. Fine by me. I will go right for a Stomping or Heat Crash. I imagine Heat Crash would be more. And just Spicy Extract the Groudon. Finally gonna do it. Just trying to break the shell, really. Well, well and I gotta get my boost. Y you wanna stack faster than Terrapagos. Oh! Uh-oh! They're going right for it! Uh-oh! That's kind of scary. Just Tailwind and straight for it. Um, I'm terrified. Hopefully the Peppers can take this. If the Peppers can't take this, we're in a little bit of trouble. Scoville takes it. Okay, that's good. get the attack boost, we don't take the defense drop, and then he crash should do something. Oh, that's something I'll say! Wowee! And they are just a leftover set. Okay. Incredible. Oh, we don't have protect on this, do we? Nah. <laughs> that crit was awesome. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna get some positioning. I'm gonna protect and I'm gonna go into Hitmontop. I'm sure they're gonna protect Terrapagos or do something silly with Tornadus here. Just bring out the Hitmontop. Intimidate doesn't matter here. Whatever. Groudon protects. Oh, they didn't protect. Okay. Throwing a bleak wind storm. I assume Hitmontop can take this hit, right? Wow, I did a lot. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Maybe I thought too highly of Hitmontop. And just a Terra Star Storm. Okay. They're assuming the double up might be enough to do the damage they need to ground on, I guess. On top does not take it. All right. Well, that was a waste. Okay. It's got to be walking wake. Yeah. They didn't protect it last time. Would they protect it this time? Now, if they protect this turn, I can stall out their last turn of Tailwind. So it's not that big a deal. I'm going to go Stomping, and I'm going to go... We'll Snarl KO from here. I'm going to click Snarl. Snarl would be pretty big if they're not Clover Cloak Tornadus, and they protect Terrapagos this turn. Uh, they did protect Terrapagos this turn. That's disappointing. I I'll get a Bleak Wind dodge eventually. A taunt. Okay. I'm not sure what you think Walking Wake does that deserves taunting. Are you cloaked? You're not cloaked. That's good. 
Love to see that. And Stomping Tantrum gets blocked, but who cares? Blocking Stomping Tantrum with Protect does not double it the next turn. Uh, no, I want to see what you have in the back. You could have... Rillaboom. I, I think Heat Crash is fine. I'll go Heat Crash there. And... I'll back it up with a Hydro Steam. Why not? You're just, you're just taunting everything you can. You don't feel like bleak winding, huh? Fine by me. I'm gonna take out your restricted. I'm gonna have some Pokemon left, not many. Like, I took out your Terrapagos. That feels good. But I don't know if it's enough. We might be in a bad position, honestly. Uh, Torn goes down too, though. That helps. Ooh, Rocky Helmet! Ooh, that's rough. I don't know. Depending on who they got, we might not be able to win this. But Tailwind is gone, and Terrapagos is gone. We can still Terra, but they cannot. Not, not that we're, we have enough health for Terra to really matter. Uh, I guess if they have Rillaboom, we could Terra Fire something. Incineroar, well that's a Protect. And... Amoongus? Oh, I don't mind this. I don't mind this at all. Oh, you're right, we can't taunt. We can't protect because of the taunt. Nice. Well, you can't stop us both from attacking. So something's gonna get hit. All right, Groudon goes down. I get a Life Orb Hydro Steam, though. How much does that do? Enough to Incineroar. All right. They brought such passive Pokemon in the bag. Oh, I think we've got a shot here. Yeah, we're going to Stellar Terra Overheat that thing. And our taunt is finally over. Yeah, that's the only play. <laughs> Scoville and the Sociable. And it's shiny. Well done. All right. Stellar, Overheat. Wait a minute. Wait a gosh darn minute. Why is that not PP up? Come on, man. Come on, Evan. All right. Well, hopefully we get it in one. <laughs> and then I'll just click Draco Meteor. Oh, they're gonna let us do it. There's not giving up. Uh, no, they could win this. They dodge the move, and if they're carrying Sludge Bomb, they should be able to KO us. Sludge Bomb's not the rarest move. Ever. Yeah, you just take a little nap, Walking Wake. I may need you later. And Overheat connects. Yeah, that's game over. Goodbye. Ha 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 ha. Tearing the pepper. This is a fun team. I like this. This is cool. And good game. Alright, we've got a Dawn Wings Necrozma team. We've been seeing some stuff. Is that Ice Horse? Just alone? Okay, that's cool. I was a big Ice Horse believer before Calyrex showed up on it. So that's actually a pretty cool Pokemon. Um, that one doesn't get Wide Guard, but the Araquanid does. I do think Groudon Scovillain is fine, and our best bet to stop Trick Room. Because if they lead in DD, 
No, if they lead in Didi, we're not going to be able to get the spicy extract off. If they lead a Moongus, we could. If they lead a Raquinid, then we can just spicy extract and single target move. Um, they have Psy Spam, so we need him on top, but it's hard to get him in safely. But having Wide Guard could be good. And then, oh, Snarl ain't bad. Snarl ain't bad, but we need speed control for that to work. Versus Fluttermane can just Shadow Ball or Moonblast something? I don't know. It's not Tornadus. One of these two. Could be both of these two and drop Hip on top, but I don't feel, I'm not feeling that. I think I'm going with Wake. Because as much as I love the Sash on Flutter, it doesn't have a great matchup into some of those Pokemon. Fluttermane doesn't beat Amoongus. In DD redirection, especially if their Psychic Seed would just shut it down. We don't have we don't have Dazzling Gleam on it. <gasps> no trainer card. Uh oh. Oh, this is gonna be my first loss, isn't it? They got no trainer card, and they're gonna beat me. In DD Araquanid. Okay. I think. Their psychic seed. Are they going to try to trick room? I'm not gonna allow it. I'm a little afraid of a liquidation, but like, what can I do about it? I need to stop trick room. I'm willing to give up. Honestly, if they just terra water liquidation. Does he crash better against things they could swap to? I think Heat Crash is 120, so in the sun that's better. Spicy Extract the Groudon. Yeah, that's the play, 100%. Oh, it's Wide Guard! Yes! Yes! Okay. <sighs> that's perfect. Indeedee is not gonna take a plus two Heat Crash. Ain't no way, right? Yeah, no way. Awesome. <laughs> Goodbye, Indeedee. Okay. Cool. And my biggest fear there was just going them going for like a Terra Water liquidation in a Groudon. Because that would hurt. Well, there's another Trick Room on. I have 40 seconds to find out what Heat Crash does to it. Sixty base power, not enough. Stomping tantrum. Another spicy extract into Groudon. Why not? Okay, you've got a Terra. Terra water on that thing for liquidation time. Yeah, that makes sense. Um. Hmm. I think I can take one in the sun. And they're not protecting the Necrozma, so... Necrozma might be in trouble. That's a plus four stomping tantrum. And it's enough. Goodbye, Necrozma. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is gonna hurt, but whatever. It's worth it. We've traded so much. You can Oh, that didn't even do half to ground on? You can't get the drop either. I'm clear amulet. Oh boy. Oh, you're in trouble. And then Ursa Luna. Alright, I'm going to Stomping Tantrum. That should be enough to take a Raquinid. I'm gonna Stellar Terra Energy Ball. That should be enough for Ursa Luna. Good game. <laughs> I don't know what you do here. One of these could have a Sash. The other one's gonna go away. They might not either have Sash. I don't think I've seen Sash on the bear. Araquanid, I don't think it would run that. It's, it's a Trick Room team, it's bulky. Usually you would run Goggles or Clear Amulet or Mystic Water. Goodbye, Mr. Bear. Thank you for playing. I might think a plus four stomping does it, now that you're not a bug type. Let's, let's be real, that, you're in trouble. 
<laughs> bug. <laughs> Bye, bug. <laughs> oh, so fun. Hot peppers is so fun. <sighs> Good game. All right, we're back. A little bit of a shorter one today, uh, but I had a blast. I hope you did too. Skull villain Groudon actually works. And we got our skull, that skull villain with Stellar Terra is so sick. Just getting that damage boost and being able to guarantee that you're getting knockouts, that was so cool. And I love this Groudon set. I didn't have to worry about missing Precipice Blades a single time, because I had Stomping Tantrum. Anyways, I hope you all liked it too. There's the rental code in the corner for you. Try it out yourself. And I'm Jordy, and uh, all right, peace. <laughs>